welcome to Pommy's World of Science. Well, I'm Pommy and I want to explore the fascinating world of science together with you. So, that is our studio. <laughs> Today we will take a look on tropical rainforests. One of the biggest is in Brazil. Today we welcome Professor Dr. Brown in our studio. And here he comes! Hello. <coughs> Professor Brown, what can you tell us about the amazing rainforest? There are rainforests in South and Middle America, Africa, Southeast Asia and Australia. Here you can see it very nice, isn't it? Yes. Quite characteristic for our rainforest is the climate. Precipitation there is particularly intense all year round, hence the name. Ten months a year the climate is humid, which means that there is falling more rain in a certain time span than evaporates. In tropical rainforests plants grow in close proximity and in different layers. Firstly there is the soil layer, then we have the herb layer, then the shrub layer and finally we have the high trees. The highest of them can reach more than 40 meters. Awesome, right? Moreover, the rainforests contribute also to a great deal to global climate. Let me mention that most likely nowhere else exists a greater diversity of living species than in the rainforest. Most animals of the rainforest are the insects, arachnids, crustaceans and millipedes. Well, and an example for mammals which make up a smaller portion is the tiger in Asia and the jaguar in South America. Furthermore, there are reptiles which can grow up to a quite an amazing size. Don't forget colorful birds such as macaws and hummingbirds. Well, it's also important to mention that there are primates like gorillas, orangutans and smaller monkeys. <laughs> Now I want to proceed with another topic, the destruction of our rainforests. Annually there are some 13 million hectares of forest area getting destroyed, whether by burning or deforestation. Humans use the surface for pasture for the production of fodder, logging and mining of raw materials or just for roads. Furthermore, stems are built and huge areas are simply flooded. That's beastly! People must not do this! Lots of species die out. The worldwide water circle gets messed with by deforestation. Carbon dioxide is released up into the atmosphere, where it causes the climate change and more. Humanity has managed to destroy a third of the Amazon rainforest. If we don't stop this horror, hardly anything of the rainforest will be preserved for the future. Of course, this has an immense impact on the world's climate. Well, this was all really enlightening. I'm very grateful that you could come to us. Thank you and goodbye. Bye. Finally, I have a few suggestions for how you could save the rainforests. Eat as little meat as possible. Buy fair trade products. Donate. Don't buy any furniture made of tropical wood. Use recycling paper. Or just buy a piece of the rainforest. Well, just follow those tips and help to save the rainforest. That's it for today. Until next time. Bye bye.